Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Now I know I look dirty and scruffy. I've just been finishing off the video where I fit the brake calipers uh, after they were refurbed. So if you missed that video, go and check it out. The transformations, pretty, uh, I'm pretty pleased with it. Um, now today, I'm gonna be showing you how to fit brake pads to an Evo. Uh, so I'm just gonna fit the front pads and the rear and uh, that's it really. So if you're changing your brake pads, you'll be able to see how it all goes together and uh, you'll, you'll be able to easily change your own brake pads. So that's enough talking, let's get to it. If you're new to the channel, um, this is my car. It's a Mitsubishi Evo 10 and uh, it's Project Stevo. So it was a very rough Evo about a year and a half ago, but it's slowly becoming quite a nice Evo now. Um, so recently been doing the brakes. Uh, they were very, very tired. Um, and yeah, just been getting them up to standard, ready for track day. Uh, so the brake calipers have been refurbished. Just got to fit some uh, some brake pads and we'll be almost ready when it comes to the brakes. So the brake pads I'm fitting, Carbotech XP10. These are very, very aggressive pads. They're pretty much racing pads. So you wouldn't really want to use these on your car unless you are planning on tracking it and tracking it hard. Um, if you use your car as a daily or you know, you don't go on a track, a racetrack, then I would probably not recommend those pads. Um, but that's what I'm fitting because um, me and a friend of mine, we're gonna go on a few track days and I'd like the car to perform pretty well. So yeah, let's, uh, let's fit them. Now these shims, I think they're factory. Uh, they come with an arrow on them. And here's the brake pad. They're not directional as far as I can tell and they will sit like that on the pad. So the holes line up, and I believe it's gonna um, disperse the heat. I don't really know what they're for. I think they're gonna disperse the heat. I'll slide that in there. Now I'll do the same on the other side. So just tap the pin through, put the retaining bracket underneath, through the other pad and the backing plate. And I think that's lined up. Now what I like to do is use a socket extension and then tap, tap the socket extension because you can be a lot more accurate with where you're applying the impact. And there we go, it's that simple. Now we'll do the same on the bottom. And it's that easy. The brake pads are now in. Now let's go to the rear. I'll show you how to do the rear and then uh, we're done. Okay, so on the rear, very much the same process. You can see the little arrow on the backing plate. That just slides in like so. Same on the other side. Now we just got to tap through this pin. Lining everything up. Now we're just going to tap them through. So it really is that easy. The pads are now in. My very aggressive track pads are in the car now. Um, so next video, fit in aftermarket braided brake lines. So hopefully you found that video helpful. It's going to show you how to fit the brake pads and you'll be able to see now how to remove them if you want to do your brake pads. So yeah, lots more Evo content come in. Remember to click like, remember to subscribe and comment down below to let me know what you think of the videos so far. Cheers guys. 